Hey everyone, Zach here, and welcome to Into the Radius Overview. So I was approached by the developer to try this game out. You've seen the gameplay, but it's so weird to me that I hear about it for the first time, and later on it's gonna get ported to the quest platform, but the actual project is like so good, borderline a hit in the survival genre in the future. I guess nowadays it's all about advertisement and actually letting people know that something actually exists. So all in all, I'm very happy that I discovered that. So Into the Radius is an action-packed survival shooter game set in the dystopian radius zone where you encounter very unusual anomalies and fight through a bunch of surreal enemies. I was pleasantly surprised by this simply because I'm not really into survival genre though I would be actually down to play this more when it's gonna release on the quest. It has really good mechanics all across the board. I would say the best reloading techniques in the VR industry. It's like so intricate and detail oriented that you easily get lost in the game and think that you're actually in the zone out there. The graphics are pretty good and appropriate for a project of this kind like it has some stalker vibes overall and it's pretty fair to compare those two games. I think Into the Radius is more focused on the whole anomalies and environment changing according to what's currently going on around you. I would say I was very much pleased playing this and it doesn't really happen very often nowadays that I'm getting surprised about the VR game and its features. But let's just say words and words and check it out yourself if you will. Oh wow. That has to be like the best menu I've seen. And it's already spooky so who we'll see how that's gonna go. Everything seems to be fine with the smooth locomotion and stuff like that. This might be worse than Resident Evil, honestly. Let's do normal mode and tutorial, please. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Is someone here? What the? No, no, no. Right from zig down. Can we like uh, pass? Yeah, in real life as well. Cool. Oh, screw that house. Oh fucking hell. You can see me? Hear me? What's going on? <laughs> Come closer. Try to touch me. Ew. Oh, you can hear me. I kept trying to speak to others, but they couldn't and oh, help me, please. That's fascinating. For an indie project like that? This is like a fully fledged... Okay, so very carefully. <laughs> A hand? Well, I guess we jump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heal injector. Co what? Holding trigger and press grip. Okay, that's kind of unusual, but not tragic. Okay. Do we have a flashlight? Mate, anything. I have to like cover my eyes <laughs> when I just progress. Yeah, those are definitely people standing, it's just they are so dark. <laughs> a knife from the distance. Oh, <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Bring your non in hand over your shoulder. Oh wow, does it mean we just have a space for just a knife or...? <laughs> if you move away the back door, yeah. Well, it's good to have it. Where did I go? Did 
Please don't touch me. Use trigger to open doors and search inside cabinets. Do we have holsters actually? Oh, it's on my TD. It's actually kind of weird, like you have to press trigger and then grab to like just unlock. Flashlight. Grasp on your flashlight. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Long press. Oh, we have an information window. In your hand and chest slots. Okay. Oh, Lord. That's not the way. Oh, we can't just do that. <laughs> well, that's a dead end. I guess we have to go down here. Oh, wow. Why is this moving? Hello? No. Uh uh. Get me out of here. Fast. I'm very slow, but I need to. <laughs> the hell? Let's learn some weapon basics. Grab that Makaro from the desk. So I'm assuming those are enemies, actually. What the, the hell happened? It's also so small. Switch of the safety. <gasps> Why would I need a safety in this game? Use the trigger to drag the slide back and cock the pistol. Okay, I think I remember a game having similar reloading mechanics. Oh, what the? What's going on? <laughs> Fully eject magazine. Hold A to make sure you don't drop it. Ammo box and magazine. Touch not load the magazine. Wait, what? So this is empty and we do that. We, <laughs> we actually reload every single bullet in the chamber. That's actually the first time that I have this feature. And I can also take the single bullets from... This is like next level. Please get out. Like the game <laughs> is not already hard enough. Ah. <laughs> uh. The zone is filled with space-time anomalies, often invisible and very dangerous. They can be revealed by throwing a probe. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> Pick the probes from the box. Press and hold trigger. Swing and release to throw. Calm down. Huh. Shish. Ok, 
Okay, I'll switch the hand. <laughs> I can kinda see it, so it's not tragic. Granny Masha told me to go to church so that I could go to heaven. Yeah, that's not how it works. You need to make sure you stay that way. This is no place for the living. Go into the fog. See what's out there. Your memories will guide you. Now that we've made this connection, I can find you anywhere. Huh. I am not ready <laughs> for an actual game because this is a tutorial. <laughs> Damn it, we're in Russia. <laughs> Stop. Authorized personnel only. Raise your hands above your head for identification. This message is to remind you that you are the UNPSC field officer aiding our research of the Pechorsk radius anomaly. Congratulations on your contract extension. Your security level has been reset to zero due to long-term absence. Please proceed to your room and continue the missions. We are hoping for complete cooperation. Wow. I actually feel like so immersed. This is Stalker. I mean, with due to respect to the developer, it's getting any inspiration from it, but this is like much better <laughs> somehow. Ah, okay. This is the actual map. Huh? The first expedition. Oh, it's a quest-based game. The task may require using a gun. You know, <laughs> there are two types of missions, regular and top priority. To unlock new top priority missions, complete the regular missions. Top is like a campaign or it's like a sandbox, essentially. The map on the wall shows the whole area. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone had this carpet in Poland. <laughs> this is your portable copy. Where? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I can have multiple magazines for like a quick slot. If there's gonna be a combat then I'll just quickly swap them out, but I need to actually make sure I'll pick them up <laughs> because I'm gonna get so wrecked with whatever I'm handling with. Oh wow. <laughs> it's like leading up to it, okay. Hello? Mate! Wake up! What is this? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Well... <laughs> Maybe something in the watchtower? This object is huge. I definitely want to make sure I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> So just taking my time. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Attention. This is UNPSC emergency guidance recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. <laughs> Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorsk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit. Well, that's gonna help actually. <laughs> I don't think I had a gun, so... 
cool. Oh no, I had a gun, so I have two guns. Hell yeah! And now, just gently go down. <laughs> it is a survival, so I wanna act. Like I would die in the field. <laughs> So where do we actually go? I guess I can take this. I'm not sure we have hunger. Bastard breaks in and steals it again. Uh, where did the key go? Okay, so we have enemies already. <laughs> Do they have some special tricks? Teleporting? Anything? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Oh! Safety! Why it's transforming like that? <laughs> Where's my knife? Uh, well, I'll have to... What's going on? <laughs> it seemed like I got a fatal error while in combat. Ah! I have to hit the orb before they transform. <laughs> Again on safety? <laughs> yes, please die. <laughs> Make sure to pick this up and reload. That's gonna be very slow gameplay if you have to do it that way, but at the same time, like, I've never seen a dynamic like that, so it's like very fresh. I'm gonna use that for sure. This empty. Wait, this is a different magazine for a different weapon. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You're coming with me. Okay, I'm not gonna focus much on just... I just wanna explore a little bit and then we should be fine. They're just assholes walking around. Okay, well that's clearly a minefield. <laughs> can I like jump actually? No, but I can walk on it. <laughs> so. Do I actually w go in the right direction? Oh, I should be here. I think it tried to attack me. <laughs> so I go to the building. Ah, okay, that I went on top of it.
Oh, where's my flashlight? Oh, I'm screwed. I can't say shit. <laughs> I feel like that's where my journey ends. Oh. What am I searching here? I think this actually. What is this? Well, hello. Help me, please. That wasn't really me, just an image. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just that it's dark here and I can't move. I'm. I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. But I am alone. That's the problem. Okay, so we got the bracelet. We we'll just go back to the base. I'm back. But now I go there? Why? Huh. Oh shit, myself. <laughs> hmm. Here you can stop into your mission objectives, repair and upgrade your weapons. Oh. Here we go. Security level. Unlock new equipment. Check out the store. Access level upgrade. You have to undergo training to confirm it. Okay, so we'll get other stuff. Fun. I really quite fancy this. We all know I'm not like big into the survival stuff, but this one mixes up the adventure action aspect of it that... Yeah, it's just stuff is happening, but it actually feels like a game or maybe even a real life. Like you really feel like you're out there just lost in this whole world. The graphics look very good. I love the reloading mechanics. It's like there's some attention to detail going on here. Though I'm not sure if I'm like convinced by this grabbing technique. Normally activating any button before doing the actual action kind of slows down the gameplay. I'm pretty sure it's just to not get lost in the key bindings and just have some flow going between having an actual combat and just exploration. This game is scheduled to release on the quest store eventually. I feel like when I'm thinking about survival, I actually think about this scenario. Not just collecting wood in the jungle and just crafting stuff. I'll probably wait for the quest release to maybe do a playthrough of it. Who knows? I'm quite thoroughly impressed.